Hello friends. Today I shall discuss classification and functions of urban roads and streets as given in IRC 86 2018 and IRC SP 118. Urban roads and streets are classified into six categories based on their functions and these are expressways, arterial roads, sub-arterial roads, collector streets and local streets and were more Classification is for non-motorized transport streets and greenways. Urban expressways are high speed roads for motor traffic only, featuring full or partial control access and grid separated intersections. An expressway is an urban arterial highway for high speed regional passenger and goods traffic from intercity highway to connect to other intercity highway entering the city at specified locations. In a new area, urban expressway can be planned as a primary ring road around a city or metropolitan region to connect with the regional road network. Urban expressway should connect to the arterial road network at specific locations. The second type of urban road is arterial road. The RTL roads are city roads which are meant for through traffic usually on a continuous route and these form the main network for through traffic on continuous route carrying heavy volume of traffic joining central business district with residential areas. Parking and loading are generally prohibited or carefully regulated and pedestrian crossings occur only at intersections. These roads facilitate mobility across the city and connect to long distance destinations within the city while providing safe non-motorized traffic facilities. Arterial streets are generally spaced at less than 15 km in developed business centers and in the case of less important area, these may be 8 km apart. Sub-arterials are similar to arterials but offering lower level of traffic mobility. Their spacing may vary from 0.5 km in central business district to 3 to 5 km in suburban areas. Sub-arterials is a general term denoting a road primarily for through traffic usually on a continuous route but offering somewhat lower level of traffic mobility than the arterial roads. And you can understand here that these are the main arterial roads on a city network and these are sub-arterial roads. Sometimes they are of the same geometry as the arterial road, but they feed traffic to the main arterial roads. Generally sub-arterial roads feed traffic to main arterial roads. Then third is collector street. The city roads which are constructed for collecting and distributing the traffic to and from local streets and also to provide an access to arterial and sub-arterial roads are called collector streets. These streets generally designated with dedicated footpaths. Various speed reduction measures will be employed to limit vehicle speeds to less than 30 or 40 km per hour. The another one is local streets and these are the city roads which provide an access to residences, business and other buildings. And depending upon the importance of the adjoining area, a local street may be residential street, commercial or industrial. Along local streets, pedestrians may move freely and parking may be permitted without any restriction. You can understand this hierarchy of roads in urban area through this diagram. Now here these black lines indicate arterial, main arterial roads in a city. And these blue lines here, they indicate sub-arterial roads. Sub-arterial roads cross each other and these intersections may be either single control intersections or sometime may be even grade separated intersections also. These arterials are fed by these red lines and these are collector streets. Red lines here indicate collector streets. These collector streets feed traffic to main, sub, main arterial as well as 
sub arterials and the green line here indicates the street so street will collect traffic from another street and it will feed to either sub arterial or it will feed to arterial it may also feed to the collector street so this is the total network in a city and these roads are classified based on the mobility and their importance another category is non motorized transport streets and greenways and these are crucial for sustainable urban development promoting walking and cycling through pedestrian friendly street designs and dedicated green corridors like parks and waterways these networks provide essential infrastructure such as wide footpath and physically separated cycle tracks improving safety air quality public health and overall livability all motorized traffic be prohibited on non motorized transport streets using barriers and enforcement of regulations to prevent their entry that is how they are planned you have proper space for bicycles that is non motorized traffic and also for pedestrians if at all the motorized traffic is to be permitted then you should provide a separate area for these vehicles different roads have different functions in the total road network of a city urban expressways cater to long distance regional passenger and goods traffic either by passing the city or destined to selected part of the city Similarly arterials are primary network of a city and they provide intra city long distance travel by multimodal transport system connecting all major city land uses arterials facilitate inter city and regional trips by connecting with the highway and expressway network sub arterials form secondary network of the city connecting multiple neighborhoods to the arterial roads and collectors supplement the secondary street network system by improving accessibility within the within and across neighborhoods the local streets is the network providing non motorized travel opportunity within the neighborhood and access to motorized traffic as last mile connectivity non motorized transport pathways and greenways have different functions these are the streets catering only to pedestrians and non motorized transport including cycles and cycle rickshaw and cycle cars now recommended land use as per irc 86 2018 for different types of urban roads and streets is like this for a urban expressway in plain in rolling and hilly terrain you have 30 meter to 75 meter of land width Similarly for arterial roads it is 45 to 60 meter in plain area and 25 to 40 meter in hilly area sub arterial roads will have 30 to 45 meter land width in plain 30, 25 to 35 meter in rolling terrain and 20 30 meter in hilly terrain and similarly collector street and local streets for non motorized traffic streets and greenways 4 meter width is provided for pedestrians and 7.5 meter is provided when pedestrians and two way non motorized traffic is also present so friends thank you very much for watching this video if you have any questions you can write in the comment box